Good morning. My name is Kathy Hagedorn, and I have the children's message for today. So the children that are out in the congregation on, and virtually, this is for you, children of all ages. I'm taking a reading from the lesson today, which was in Ephesians. Always give thanks to God the Father for everything. Give thanks to him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now there is a movie called Forrest Gump, and there's a quote in there that says, life is like a box of chocolates. You don't, you never know what you're going to get. And that quote tells us there's lots of things that happen to our life, in our life. Some are good, some not so good. Sometimes you're afraid, like what's happening this school year, or who's gonna be in your class, all kinds of things like that. I am going to open my box of chocolates. Now, first of all, see, it's hard to get into, so that can be frustrating. Man, oh man. And then, on top of that, there's papers here. But once you look at it, look at those fabulous chocolates. Mmm. So now it's very tempting to take these chocolates. But wait a second, I might be fearful because, ooh, it might be something I don't like. Or things can be rocky sometimes, like crunchy things in there, and I don't like crunchy things in there. Just like in your life, sometimes things aren't going your way. Like mom and dad, I'm mad at you. Your friends don't like you right now. Sometimes it can be disgusting, like coconut in my world. I don't like coconut in chocolate. Ugh. But sometimes you come across disgusting things in your life, or sad because there might be one piece of candy left and you don't like that kind. Or maybe it's angry because you go to the candy box and it's empty. There's times when you get angry too, like you worked so hard on a project at school and you got a bad grade. In the Bible it tells us to give thanks to God for everything. We don't thank God for the bad things, do we? We forget about that. But bad things can be good. Like that piece of coconut one? I could lick the chocolate off. That would be good. Mm -hmm. Or the crunchy one, I could share it with my husband. Sherry, even in the bad things that are happening in your life, if you're nervous about going to school, if you are afraid because a grandma or grandpa or somebody you know is sick, we can be thankful too because there's nurses or you get to visit them. God loves us for who we are, all our emotions, all of our feelings. Jesus felt them too, and he understands. And we can thank God for even the bad things and uncomfortable things and disgusting things and angry things and sad things in our life. Let's fold our hands. God, Bless these children of all ages as they know your endless love and the blessings that you give us, even when things seem sad or angry or disgusting. Assure these children that you surround them at all times. Amen.